All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of Subnautica. I hope everyone is doing great today. I know that I am. We're jumping right back on into things today, and actually, it has been a couple of days since I last played the game, since I last recorded. Um, like I mentioned in the first two episodes that went up during this week, or during this past week, I should say, I was recording those on the same day because I was really enjoying the game thus far. And so far, our reception of the episodes has been pretty good. Um, nothing too crazy, nothing like our other um, series on the channel, I would definitely say. But, uh, you know, compared to what we had for Before We Leave, um, you know, it's relatively similar, I would say. We were re averaging roughly about, tw you know, 10 to 20 views per episode on Before We Leave, for the most part, and for our um, Subnautica series thus far we have been averaging in that for the first two episodes so I am pretty happy with it we're gonna jump back in I honestly don't 100% recall where we left off with things so we're gonna see what our next steps are and uh, just kind of go from there on what we want to do I am really liking the game thus far I know several of you out there have voiced your um, your interest in the game so we're going to keep going for as long as we're getting a decent amount of views on it. Now, if it drops down to just a couple of views, we might want to uh, reevaluate on it. Uh, but ultimately, it does boil down to that. I do this for fun. I enjoy playing a lot of these games, and I just put them out there because I do like playing them. And I genuinely want you guys to enjoy them as well. So uh, as long as, you know, there are a couple people who are enjoying them and I'm having a great time, then we're going to keep it going. Very much like our Before We Leave series. I mean, we didn't have a ton of people on those. Well, that took a little bit to load in there. We didn't have a ton of people on them, but I was really enjoying it, so. Ah, that is correct. On the last episode, we did go to Pod 17. I was like, why do we have a knife on us? And that's why, because I wasn't sure if we were going to get ambushed by anything. Now, it does look like we have a little radio symbol here, so let's see. This is Life Pod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, so we got another, um, another lifeboat that we could go and try to find. Um, we do need to have some water. That's why I came in here to grab some. Oh, we do need to get to more of the creatures that allow us to get water because unfortunately we're having a rough time Ooh, what did we need oh decom decomposing oh no that's not good at all okay um how can we get rid of these is there a way to like drop them um let's see here no we have consume and consume I don't know. I have to see options, um, keyboard. We have different slots. Take, reload, sprint, move up, down, left, right. Nothing. Deconstruct is Q. Can we just Q this bad boy? No. So that did not do well for us, unfortunately. Um, having these rotting and decomposing items. It doesn't look like we can get rid of them. Okay, so that's interesting. Again, I'm going to hit every single wrong button I possibly can. That was interesting because that definitely was closed. Uh, but like I said, we need to get some more water. Um, and if we can get rid of those decomposing items, uh, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm not 100% sure. I could look it up online, obviously, but uh, I, like, I like hearing from you guys. So any suggestions would greatly appreciate it. Okay, so we need to find some more of those, like, whatever fish they were called, bubble fish or something like that. But I'm not seeing any in our close proximity to our, our little capsule here. And we do have our, um, our other distress signal we could go to life pod 3. So we might end up doing that, actually. But you know what? First, before we head out that far, I was a little bit curious because obviously there is an aspect to the game of making bases so i was a little bit curious um if we are to that point where we could do something like that we have beacons mobile vehicle bay 
Nothing really in there. Tools and equipment. First aid, fire, pipe. I don't think we really have anything. We do have the high capacity that we could try to get into. Um, equipment, tools, air bladder. The habitat builder, I think that's what we need maybe in order to get going, which means we need a computer chip, a wiring kit, and a battery. Now a computer chip, we need table coral sample, and we need copper wire, and we don't have any copper for that. For our battery, I think it was a battery, right? Was it a battery or a power cell? A battery. For our battery, we need acid mushrooms, which we actually can go and get, and I think I actually have some stored in here, if I'm not mistaken. Don't I have some? Yeah, I do. Um, we have plenty of silicon in there. We just don't have copper. That's really what we're missing the most on. So we can make our battery. And then we do need a wiring kit so we can get one of those. And then I think the only other thing that we were missing is a computer chip for the habitat builder. And the computer chip, we need more copper and then that coral sample. So we'll have to keep that in mind. So I guess we'll just go out exploring. Ooh, that's one of the fish right there that we need. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna go over to our little boy here to keep us going and get us to where we need to go. It is quite a far way off. We do need that, we need that. Um, how are we doing on oxygen? fine for now if we could find some of those coral samples that would be amazing um i went up way too far there oh we need one of those we need that we need that okay grab you okay it's funny someone left a comment i'm sorry i don't recall exactly who had left a comment i'm um, saying that they were surprised that we hadn't got attacked by a specific thing yet um and you know what i am not gonna lie i'm actually surprised as well that we haven't got attacked by things i say that now and realistically what will end up happening is we get attacked like that's what's gonna happen Okay, I hope I'm not passing by anything important. I'm trying to look as we go. What do we get? Copper. Okay, sick. So we did get some copper. We need more. That is for certain. Uh, we have some more samples right here. Um, not copper, but that's okay. Still take it. no copper okay we're going out into a field it looks like over here let's get some more air and then let's head back down and let's get through this area hopefully we don't get attacked i'm really hoping we don't get attacked because if we get attacked i'm gonna jump like there's literally no doubt in my mind i'm going to jump you guys are gonna be like what the hell happened and i'm gonna be like i got scared <laughs> that is what is gonna happen Okay. I'm sorry, guys. I am trying to also, like, look for things as we are going along. Oh, we can cut that with our knife. Really? Seek fluid intake. Seek fluid intake. Okay, we, we can definitely do that. What will this give us? Ooh, creep vine samples. acquired. Okay, we need water really badly. And I don't think I have anything on us that we... Oh, we do. Okay. Did I just drop it? I literally just dropped it, didn't I? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where's our water? Oh, thank the Lord. Um, Consume. There we go. Okay, that'll hold us over for a little bit, but we definitely need to get back to the ship ASAP because we don't have that much left Ooh, okay here we go this is pod three okay that's what we want right there now i think it's in our pda right if we go into here we can do photos i did figure out how to uh I'm sorry, I did figure out how to get the pictures. So, as you guys probably realized, based on our uh, 
previous episodes. I know how to talk. I know what I'm doing. Sea glide fragment. We can definitely scan this, right? Cool. Oh. Okay. What do we got here? Um, okay. Oof. Yeah, unfortunately, they did not make it either. Um, abandoned PDA. Crew log three. Is there anything else we can take while we're in here? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oxygen. Oxygen. We need oxygen. It is so dark. We definitely need to get home. We're gonna get attacked or something. Okay. Let's uh, let's head back home. That's not the right way. This is the right way. Let's stick relatively close to the surface because hopefully nothing will attack us there. My logic in full full use right here. Is there anything we can scan? Ooh, okay. Another sea glide fragment, which we've already gotten. So, oh, our inventory was full for whatever whatever it was gonna drop us. Where inventory is full, so we gotta head back anyway. So let me head back to the base. And then we'll regroup and then we'll go from there with trying to get some more materials that we need. And I'll also read that log that we just got, that PDA. All right, guys, we are back on the ship and we found a way to actually make that fiber mesh. I know in the previous episode or two, we've been trying to figure out how we get fiber mesh because there was something that we wanted to make that needed it um, that I wasn't really too sure on. I don't really 100% recall what exactly it was that we saw. Uh, maybe oh maybe it was the radiation suit maybe it was something additional that we had seen uh, but we did get plenty of stuff to make water so we're gonna get that going as well because obviously we need a good amount of water i think that's really i think that's the main thing that we're really running into thus far with our gameplay is water we've been able to find enough food and we've been able to sustain our food rations enough um, to keep us you know satisfied but our water has been the thing that goes down so quickly and i wonder if it is maybe because of what we do consume uh, i would be kind of interested to know a little bit more on that uh but we did unlock some additional things so obviously fiber mesh and lubricant we knew lubricant last time uh, a lot of cooked fish we knew high capacity o2 tank and the radiation suit and then we also got this pathfinder which it deploys a holographic pathfinder disc or discs, I should say. And it's used to map your way back out of caves or hard to navigate spa spaces. Max 20 discs per path, which is kind of interesting. And I think that's about it. We are still waiting on a few other research things like the sea moth uh, would be awesome to get up and going. And then we do have these things, but we can't obviously make any of those just yet. So, so yeah, um, I did want to go over to the voice logs and try to see... Yeah, this is the, I think this is it, right? It's, is it data? Oh, Aurora survivors. Yeah, there we go. Life pod three crew. Let's take a peek. Let's hear what they had really to say. think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power seller rigged to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? Oh, sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the life pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the mats, I'll be terrified. Well, dang. So pretty interesting. Um, I'm guessing that it did overload like right outside the life pod and that's why we found it in the condition that we found it in, uh, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. Um, let's see what else we have here. So we do have the waterproof locker and nav and everything like that that we could do. But I'm really still working towards getting that crafting tool up and going. The habitat builder. I think that's what we would want to get. I would assume. That's assuming that's what we need to get. So we need to get a few more pieces parts which we have not found yet. So we had some coral stuff that we needed. What is that? You see that little pod here? What is this bad boy? The uh, bio bioreactor fragment. So we got our bioreactor. I definitely heard something. I don't know if it was friendly or not. 
We do have some... Ooh, a drooping stinger. Let's research this. Okay. Thirty seconds. Can we grab them? I don't think we can. Um, salt deposit? Nah. Okay, let's head up to the surface. And then I guess I'm just gonna have to do some exploration to find these other things that we need. It looks like there's some more debris down there. Oxygen. That we might want to get. I think that, oh, the thing is just picking up stuff and moving it. So we have some fragments there. It's kind of hard to recall, like, where we've searched already. And where we haven't looked. Like, we do have some stuff down here. Metal salvage and things like that. Did you hear that? What was that? Oh, maybe it was that guy. Okay. Well, I guess what I'll do instead of, you know, coming up with some commentary to try to fill dead air here is I'll cut away. I'll do a little bit of searching and see what we can find. And then hopefully we come up with uh, what items that we need. Because uh, unfortunately thus far, I'm not seeing what, it, what we need. So, uh, yeah, let me do that and we'll be right back. Alright guys, so I've gotten, I think, enough copper for what we need to do. And then I also have figured out what we need to do to get those coral table things, samples. Um, I think we need to get this laser cutter up and going, which might require us to get some more items, maybe? Uh, but I have been going around and finding this laser cutter fragments, so luckily... We have been finding certain things, which is awesome. There's a bunch of stuff over there. Holy smokes, a whole part of the ship right there. Uh, that would be really good to go explore. Um, but unfortunately, my inventory is full, like you saw, and our um, what we're using to get around, we're kind of running out of oomph on it. We got 4% left, and it's going to somewhat hopefully be able to get us back home. Hopefully, I don't know what happens when we run to zero on it. Um, if we have to put a new power cell in it or how it works necessarily because we haven't gotten to a place where we can recharge things yet. So I don't know how it's going to work. Um, we don't even have solar on our thing anymore, I don't think. Exchange power source, R. Okay, so we could put a different battery in it. No. Okay, so you just basically change out the batteries. It seems like. So that's good to know that that's how you ultimately change it when you have when you run out of power on something. You just have to uh, have to change the battery in it, which I mean, it makes sense. I mean, you put a battery into it and in the real world, when your battery runs out on something, you replace the battery. So it makes sense that we would then have to do the same exact thing. So, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I think we need to get this laser up and going so that we can get some of these samples. Um, and luckily we have everything we need now to maybe craft it. Um, let's go in here though. We have a bunch of water that we can craft up. So I think that would be uh, beneficial for us because once again, we're in the position where our water is kind of running low. We're at about halfway, whereas our food is still doing strong. We only lost about 25% of the uh, total on on our food there, or on our, um, yeah, on our food. So for those accustomed to synthetic foods to be repulsed by eating an animal carcass. Remember that humans survived this way for millennia. You can too. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay. There we go. Unfortunately, I kind of had to do that. I mean, I didn't have to do it, but I wanted to get rid of what we had. And I don't think I have any food left in here. And I'd be curious if we did have food in here, if it's still good. It doesn't look like we have any food though, so... That's perfectly fine. Um, so we should be able to craft some stuff up now. So now we have the laser cutter, but we need diamonds for it. What? Where do we find diamonds? I'm guessing we can find it somewhere, you know, below the surface. Holy smokes. We're just kind of going down a rabbit hole on things here. Uh, 
I really, really wanted to get that going. We could do, we don't know the mo mobile vehicle bay yet. We can't do any of that, which is a bit of a bummer. We can't even do a battery because, well, we don't have their acid mushrooms on us. So let me grab, I think I have one here, right? We have spore. Hmm, interesting. I didn't know we could get the spore of it. Uh, but I'm guessing I'm going to have to go back out. And I don't know where we get diamonds from. Uh, luckily, we have these boys right here that we can grab. And let's get back in here and let's see how this works. Like with crafting a battery and everything. Like obviously we've crafted batteries before, but I'm curious how this change works on our uh, on our equipment here. So if we go over to the uh, this and we hit R, we have two batteries on us now. So we can just do that, and then we're full battery power. And then does it give us the old one in our inventory? It does. So do we have an option to like charge things? That's what I'm confused on. Maybe at some point there is an option, but we just don't have it now. Floating air pump, fire extinguisher, yeah. Okay. So let's just stick that one that doesn't have any charge on it away for the time being. We have a bunch of creature eggs. We could stick away and i feel like we need to upgrade our storage i think that's really another thing that we need to be doing here now deployables aren't really what we want to be doing i would like to extend our area realistically but we don't have that yet and i'm guessing we won't have it until we get diamonds so um let's grab this bad boy and give ourselves a little bit of health here we do need some food as well. Are there? Is there anyone out and about right now that we could get as a food source? Got a little dude down here. I'll grab you. Um, and then anyone else? There's a bunch of little ones I feel like that are floating around here. Well, we got that one. I think that'll suffice, I guess, for the time. This table coral is what we need a sample from. Table coral. Yep. E exploitable and computer chip things. Yep. Um, oh. Oh. Oh, there we go. We didn't need the laser. Okay, there we go. Oh, wow. I'm an idiot. Well, we got that going. There we go. I was not expecting that at all. Um, so we can get the chip up and going, right? Computer chip, we need copper wire and copper wire. We don't have enough copper. Ah, you're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. Do we have any stored? We don't have any stored. We have plenty of gold. But we don't have any copper. All right. I'm going to have to go out and get copper, so we'll be right back. All right, guys. We're heading back to the base here. And I did get attacked once or twice by those little uh, those dudes that live more towards the bottom of the, of the ocean, unfortunately. Um, so we are a little bit low on health, which is not good. Um, and we need some food ASAP, too. So I'm going to get some food cooked up here. Um, we can craft up water. I did get enough to get some copper wire. And then we can get our computer chip going. Which is awesome. So we have our wiring kit. So advanced wiring kit we can do now. Um, if we needed to. But let's open up our inventory here. And let's actually eat some stuff. Vital signs stabilizing. Yeah, because we are uh, we were not doing too hot on our uh, on our health or anything. So let's have some cooked stuff like that. I think also what we should do is if we don't need food right away, instead of cooking it, we should definitely salt it because then I think it lasts a bit a, a little bit longer uh, than um, than normal. So I'm hitting literally every single wrong button. I'm gonna craft these into lubricant so we can just hold on to it because it uh, takes up less space than our. Um, than how it is in its other form. 
So it's uh, we got a lot more room for things now. So we should be able to craft up our habitat builder. The builder tool is designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. Cool. So we got that going. Now I think I have to assign it if I'm not mistaken. Um, what do we want it on? Probably three. What did it put it on? One. Uh, let's let's redo some of these things. So this is going to be on one. Or no? How do we do this? One. One for that, two for that, three for our scanner, four for that. Oh, wait, what is happening? One, two, three, four, and then five. Yeah, I think that's good because we don't need our repair tool right now. So how do we do this then? This is pretty nifty. Okay, so we right click and it opens up this. So you can get a foundation going, um, exterior modules, interior pieces. Where there's the bioreactor that we could do. Interior modules, miscellaneous. We got a counter that I found. Wow, okay, so this is everything that we saw within our blueprints. So we do have a connector we could do. Now I'm curious, do we have to, hang on, let's get out of our escape pod. Now, can I do it on to the escape pod? That's my question. So what is it, three? Can I do it connected to that? It doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like it, it would connect to the escape pod, but we probably could put a foundation down, right? <laughs> In the mid air. Right, well, it doesn't look like we can put it up there. We probably can come down here and get something going right or it'll go it'll go as far down as we need it to go maybe i have no idea we could do it above water do we want it above water or below water i don't know what if we did it right here i'm just kind of curious and you can deconstruct it okay is it just gonna be floating here Oh no, it goes all the way down. Okay. That's pretty cool. Now, I might have put it in a bad spot, considering we have our thing right above it. So let's actually deconstruct it. I think you get the parts back, I would imagine. Yeah, you get the parts back. Okay, this is so cool. So we got so much that we could be doing now. I don't really want to venture too far from our, our pod, though. You know? It's like, I don't know... Like, we might need it, so I don't want to be too far away from it. We do have this over there that we could go to. Uh, maybe we should just go right underneath it. Maybe that's realistically our best bet, is to just start something relatively close by. Um, that's our scanner. I want a foundation. It looks like... Yeah, there's certain places that you can and can't put it, realistically. So we could put one right here. Let's get this going. Let's build it. Got to hold down this button. Get our foundation going. All right. And then if we come back into here, we should be able to get walls, right? Or no. Uh, Multi-purpose room. Hatches, windows uh compartments okay i would imagine that we could do walls right interior modules oxygen how does this work okay where you can swim through interesting okay i guess i'm gonna have to look into this a little bit more and understand it uh because i would have thought that maybe like this vertical like this would be able to connect to that and maybe we can't craft no we should have enough to craft this so i am confused on why we can't do that
Hmm, interesting. And then we have this. Which again, we can't have come off of it. Or can we have it come off the side or anything like that? No, it doesn't look like it. Interesting. Alright, I'm, I'm getting distracted because I really don't know what I'm dealing with here. And uh, it looks really, really cool. But it looks like we're going to unfortunately have to get into it on a different episode because we are unfortunately out of time so guys with that being said i hope you all enjoyed this episode when we come back we will explore base building just a little bit more and uh and see what what all it entails uh but yeah if you like this episode feel free to leave a like down below better yet leave me a comment i love reading through all of your guys's comments um especially those of you who uh who have experienced it leaving all your tips and everything like that definitely helped me out along the way Oh, you can actually deconstruct that. That's interesting. Um, if you're new to the channel, you want to follow along, hit that subscribe button and bell notification. I'll let you know every single time a new episode is posted to the channel. I do stream over on Twitch. We were actually streaming over there earlier today and had a great time. We were streaming Ocean Outlast Expert over there, but I do stream other games as well. Um, I have that link in the description along with my schedule, and I have my Discord link down there as well, so you can stay up to date on things that are going around, going on around the channel. So guys, with that being said, thank you so much for sticking through until the end. I'll catch you all in the next one. Thanks. Bye.